Hey guys, Fem Free here. Welcome back to Tales of Fantasia. This is episode two. And yes, we're gonna load this same day, yo. And last time we went hunting and our village got destroyed. So now in this episode we're going into this little crevice. And it's a stone figure. What's a stone figure doing in a place like this? It's impossible to lift. Looks like I can push or pull it through. Some stone figures and other sub items can be pushed or pulled. Manipulating them is simple. Just press A with press the A button with the figure in front of you and move. Try moving the stone. Okay, yeah, we already know how to do this. This right here is a peddler. Hi. Hi there, I'm a peddler. Interested in some of my wares? See what they have. Bye. Apple gel. Orange gel, which restores 30% 30% of your TP. Panacea bottles, which heals poison. Oh no, sorry. And that's all she has. So we're gonna get a couple of apple gels. Go and rapport. Now if we go up here. We're going up this way instead of going past the peddler. If you go past the peddler, you um end up outside on the world map. So as we go along, we're going to encounter a lot of. God. <laughs> I miss Chester. I miss him already. I know I could just run, but TP, um, not TP, um, experience points and chance of only dropping some really good items. Oh, there we go. Uh, would you just die? Oh, great. Now I'm stunned. You assholes. Now you die. Yes! And I'm at 80 health. 15 experience, 48 gold. Pretty good. Ooh, level up. So, select. There we go. Hopefully, you don't run into too many of those. At least you at least the bees are easy to kill. Here we go. Fifteen god oh eighteen god. Yeah. Guess the more difficult it is for you to kill the enemy, the more gold you get. Speaking of which, nope, nope, not about that life. I am not fighting three hours at once with Chris. For crying out! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yes! Sorry, flying enemies are just too hard to kill. 
Okay, good. Now we're at the part I want to be at, which is the. Re okay, good. I can kill you easily. Give me bugbears and giant bees any day. Better not die because. Well, I did say before I came in here, so all I have to do is just see by these apple shells. Alright. I did it! Okay, we do have some new boss. Alright. Life bottle! And. Orange shell. Alright, now let me make sure I'm correct on the orange shell. I don't. Orange shell restores 30% of max TP. Yeah, that was right. This, this dirt. You know what? Why are we... Apple shell. There we go. Got cheese. Cheese will. Cheese will explain what that can be used for coming up. But there we go. And now we are out. Yeah, if you just walk past the peddler girl, she would just. You would just come right out there. You would miss out on the life bottle and orange shell. I'm pretty sure my uncle's house is to the northwest. Yeah, we'll do that later. See, this is Henbu. Shop worker, welcome. Please pay the salesperson in the back. Leave the shop thing fake. Proprietor, welcome. What can I do for you? This is where you. Right, it just has the same thing. Thing the pedal had, except. Life bottles! And we have 136 gold. Go up here. Yeah, there's nothing up here. Come back here, let me talk to you. Excuse me. Do you know how to get to the village of Toltos? I need to see Captain Miguel. He used to be the captain of the Independent Order of the Aleutian Knights. The courage of Captain Miguel is famous throughout the entire continent of Aleutian. I would love to spar with him just once. Oh, yeah, about that. Alright, this is your weapon and armor shop. Armor shop owner, welcome. And what they have is leather armor, chain mail, wooden shield, round shield, leather behind gloves. Obviously, all good stuff we could buy, but we're not because, um, yeah. Say, the furthest I play, I'll tell you the furthest I actually played of this, and. Excuse me. Da da da. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. I was zoning out, out from all the boredom. Yeah, see, look at all this good stuff. Short bow, rapier, long sword, and saber. Yeah, so we won't want to buy anything thing just yet. And now up here is the grocery store. Oh, and cute little cutscene. Welcome. What is it, sir? Um behind you? Huh? Oh, 
Ugh, it's the grocer's pet again. How does it get in here? I better go complain. Welcome. This is the Marion. This is where you buy it. all stuff that looks all um edible items for you know breakfast, lunch, dinner. And this guy, all that stuff you buy because of him. I am the design of the wonderful world of flavors. I'd like to share this taste with you. Would you partake? Would you like a little taste of my world? Yes! Here's one of my secret recipes. You can now make cabbage rolls. Cooking is something you get better at with more practice. The star marks show a chef's levels of cooking mastery. The more, the more stars you have, the better your cooking skills, so practice daily. And this, he is the one of the very, very helpful NPCs of the game because cooking will restore TP, HP, sometimes you get added buffs like boost to attack, magic, defense, evasion, luck, woman, dot dot dot. <laughs> this man, I just wish the, this would last forever. Wow, the person... Is that person a circus performer? Kid, that's a clown. I would run. Come down, relax, watch the show. You'll be glad you did. And that's the kind of reputation clowns kind of have. I want to juggle too. Wow, wee, wee hee. This person is great. Where does this kind of... And it's go come from years of practice and coordination. They say the village of Totos was attacked. I wonder if they're safe there. Oh ho! Jumpers are s jumpers are so amazing. I think he needs jugglers. You know the knights were going it going. You know, knights were going in and out of Olsen's house several days ago? I wonder what that was all about. Hmm... And you are... Mellow Mellow, welcome. Wonks- Oh, he has more weapons. And... Accessories! Oh, he has magic lenses. Yes, let's buy those. Items you can buy, you just don't want to buy, like, weapons and stuff, because you'll see- I don't know what. Eh, hello, uncle, are you there? And I triggered the cutscene. Cress is on- Cress! Uncle, aunt, it's been so long. Cress, you look well. You know I heard hor a horrible rumor. Is it true the village of Tolslos was attacked? Said it not. It's true. Mom and dad were both. So the rumor was true, yes. Cress, don't be so glum. Why don't you stay here with us for a while? Thank you. Okay, now we can go back outside. Pitch black clouds are gathering to the south. I wonder if, th I wonder if there were rain showers. else we can do around here? Oh, someone else I can talk to. I haven't seen you around before, mister. Where did you come from? Alright, so we want to go back to the grocers, which is right here. Ten boo. Welcome, please. Uh, yeah. I was just wanted to show you, show the old lady coming out all angry that his pet ate them stole from her shop. And see, did I want it? Oh no, there's more. I have, I have to be careful, and careful not to get sunburned when I go outside. Mom, let's go check out the juggler.
Oh, oops. Accidentally exited now. <laughs> Alright. See here, I'm trying to find the end so I can show you. Oh, wait. Here was just a house below it. This is the end. You this in you paid us stay here to basically restore all your HP and TP. Welcome. This is the end. It's been around for more than a century. You can stay here for ten gold. No, because we don't need to. Out of the way. I'm cleaning. Me? Um, we're, I work here, I'm working here part time, you can make pretty good money in the inn, you know. Uh, sleep with eyes open. Yeah, we cannot- Oh, we just creeped in on someone. <laughs> Hello, I'm the leader of the Juggle Buggle Traveling Entertainment Group. This is a big and safe town. I think we should. I think we'll stick around for a while. Yeah. Say so later on, the inns get more and more expensive. The last thing we couldn't stay at, well, that's because um, because we lived there and there was no point in being able to stay at the end. I think that's just another entrance to our uncle's house, I believe. Let me check. Yeah, Olsen's house. And I believe if we just go straight north, that is another way out or that takes us to a castle. No, at least a castle. Let's explore. Let's not do that. This is no place for you to come, huh? What you want to know about the Independent Order of the Knights? Well, um, as far as I know, Captain Mars succeeded Captain Miguel as leader of the Knights. He was a master swordsman comparable to Captain Miguel, but he hasn't been seen lately. They say his, they say he's in his sick bed, so I think he's at home. Where is it? In the northeast part of town. There should be a house then. Oh, right here. I've actually been in here. Are you Mars's? Oh, that's right. Mars is my husband. Wait, do you know where my husband is? Um, no. I came here because I heard from the soldiers that Lisa, Captain, my father and Miguel used to be Captain of the Independent Order of Knights. The soldier told me that Mars succeeded him, so I came here. Well, thank you for your visit, but my husband, he, he's missing. Missing? It happened three months ago. He left in the night with his armor on never returned. I thought it was work, but he hasn't been back to the castle either. He's just gone. I'm sorry to hear that. There's a cat! Kitty! <gasps> it, <laughs> that's cool! Alright, now let's go to our uncle and sleep. Cheer up, Chris. Oh, wait, talk to him directly. You must be exhausted, Chris. Why don't you take a rest? Yes. That night. Poke, poke. Uncle, what's this? I'm sorry. We had no choice. If we refused, our city would suffer the same fate as told, told us. Please forgive me. Enough talk. Shut up and do as you're told. I will have some... I have fun. Walk. That is just cold. Way to sell out your own blood. I'm sorry, Chris. Chester! Hmm? Someone's coming. I wonder if they come back. Ami, I shall avenge your death.
scary looking castle. We captured Miguel's son. Excellent work. <laughs> I had no idea he had a son as young as you. It was you guys, wasn't it? You guys attacked the village. <laughs> I know nothing of that. Hey, that's mine. Thanks for the pendant, kid. Take the kid's weapons and throw them in the dungeon. That is why you do not want to buy anything from... Oh. <laughs> now at last... Chris, what the... What's that? Yeah, that's why you didn't want to buy any weapons. Because they get taken from you. Get in there. Stop stalling. You'll last a lot longer in, in here if you keep your mouth shut. Got it? Dang it. Alright, now what you want to do here is check this hole. Can't get through that hole. Walk around, walk around, and let's see. It's no use barehanded. Keep walking, keep walking. Just keep walking around in circles. Can you hear me? That's a woman's voice I just heard. I can hear a woman's voice coming through the hole. Give me your hand. Well, who are you? Please reach through. The through. I want to help you. Reach through. Yes. As strange and sketchy as it sounds, you want to do this. An earring. Hold it up towards the wall. I know you can escape. You must believe. Hey, wait. Who are you? Well, I guess I give this a hearing a shot. Wow. I'll have to meet her and say thanks. And... How could this be? That hand felt warm. She's impaled by a sword. We could do such a thing. Try pulling on a sword? Yes. This might come in handy. Long sword. This is actually better than our old weapon. This is, it's no use barehanded. Alright, select. Equipped. Press. Weapon. Long sword. Alright. This will increase his slash and thrust by five, and we will accept it. Certain characters can use certain items, um, certain weapons. Chester, as you can tell, uses bows. And Cress uses swords and shields. You got cheese. If you look down here, you can see a mis There's a mysterious girl there. Let's go talk to her. You probably open the door with the sword. Are you alright? No injuries? Who are you? I'm Cress, and your name is... Mint! Um, thank you for freeing me. We should get out of here fast as we can. Yes, let's go. Please free my mother, too. Uh, she's in the cell over that way. Really? <clears throat> I didn't see anybody over there. We better hurry, but... I know I heard my mother's voice. She kept telling me that everything was going to be okay. I know it was my mother. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Poor Mint. It looks like a way through the aqueducts. I wonder if I can open it. If I could open it. You probably open. You probably open with your sword. Mint has joined your party. Her divine powers support Crest. She'll use her powers automatically, but you can also tell her tell, tell her to use any of her powers she currently has. To tell her not to use her powers, go to her skill screen and select the power, then press the L button. Note, powers she isn't currently using will be grayed out. Alright. You got apple gel? I think, think oh, here's another treasure chest. Yes, yes it is. Lemon gel! Oh, this is good. I think this restores both HP and TP. Oh yeah, magic lens. Eh. Mysterious lens that can scan an enemies HP, TP, and attributes. Yep, yep, yep. Lemon gel. 
Restore. Oh no, this just restores them. HP. Genetics gel medicine that restores 60% of max HP. Yeah, it's, that is good. I think it was a melange gel that I'm thinking of. As you can see, a mint has more TP than us, and mint will also be whatever level we are too, I believe. I did it. And that's because mint, all of, basically all of mint's attacks will be TP based, as in she'll use all TP to do all her attacks. What's this? That's a memory glyph. A memory glyph, it's said by standing on it, and your experience up to that point will be saved as a residual memory. Yes, we want to do this. This is how you save in dungeons. So, yes. Saving. Alright, let's continue on. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna end it off here because I believe there's gonna be a super long cutscene after we get out of this castle.